because we have never gotten an opportunity to see her in her training gears. We saw Shelly and Fraser Price in training. We saw Kishen in training. Tia in training. We even saw Coach Francis in training. But not Sherika Jackson. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Write the Narrative where it's okay to be curious. Like and share and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's talk about Sherika Jackson. Sherika Jackson had been one of those athletes who were in Paris, but not really. We haven't really seen anything from Sherika Jackson other than when she when we got a glimpse of her in that big shirt under the sunglass with her hat looking like a celebrity in hiding. Sherika Jackson, it, the, the story came full circle today after she pulled out of the 200 meters. Before she pulled out of the 100 meters, it was a shock. At least we got some notice. Um, Sasha Lee Farbs was able to replace her, but I suspect that she was still not ready for the 200 meters. The narrative was that she's healthy and she'll be ready, but she was not ready. There is nothing that suggests that Sherika Jackson would have competed at the Paris Olympics while we were speculating that there was just so much secret surrounding the MVP. When the MVP finally presented themselves, we got to see Kishane Thompson. That was a moment that was highly anticipated. Then we got to see Tia Clayton. Also a highly anticipated moment. Then it just got normalized for us not seeing Sherika Jackson. There was no Sherika Jackson. And when we did get a glimpse of who, of the celebrity who is Sherika Jackson, she was under her shades and in a bigger shirt. It showed that she probably wasn't ready. Why? Because we have never gotten an opportunity to see her in her training gears. We saw Shelly and Fraser Price in training. We saw Kishane in training. Tia in training. We even saw Coach Francis in training. But not Sherika Jackson. That was obvious that she was not really in. She was in Paris but not really. Now the big question is why were why was she there? Shelly also. Especially since these are the two big name athletes. They pulled out and the rest was anti-climax. Now it comes down to speculation. Were they just a major part of promoting the Olympics? The, Ol the Olympics would have never been what it is without these marquee athletes. These are world beaters. They are some of the highly anticipated athletes. Athletes who could literally sell tickets and fill stadiums. What would have happened if these athletes were announced early? As athletes who would not participate, what would have happened? What adjustments would have been made? Would it be? Would there be other speculation suggesting that they are making it an easy route to the to a gold medal for Shakiri? What would have happened? There are so and there are so many speculations that could have came out of it. But nonetheless, it will come. What really happened in Paris? And is this? The decline of a Jamaican dynasty is this the decline or the re the reshuffling? I said before in a different video when when Jamaica swept at the Olympics in 2021, they were not showing signs of cohesiveness. And this Olympics, Jamaica did not even participate in the Olympics in the 100 meter sprint. Therefore. There is some soul searching that must be done. But nonetheless, these athletes, they work very hard to get to where they are. And they must be respected for their effort. We do appreciate all athletes. But we are still going to assess the situation as it comes in. Where Sharika Jackson is concerned. It was clear that she was not ready to be there. But she was there. So was she promoting the sports as a big name on the ticket and then pull herself late so that the ticket would have already been bought and the, everybody win except the fans where do they go from here will there be some kind of repercussion from the fans going forward will there be love lost will there be a broken trust how do you guys see this how do you see this going forward for even Shelly and Fraser Price 
Will there be love loss? Will there, will there be an opportunity for them to explain it properly? Will there be an opportunity for them to switch this and said, well, it's Olympic fault. I will the Olympics going forward, which is a multinational event, say that Jamaica disrespected us. Jamaica and Shelly and Fraser Price did this. So going forward, we're going to do that. Will there be a repercussion due to the fact that she has a sponsor and the sponsor will look bad and the sponsor will have to take action. Drop your comments down below and let me know what you guys think. Is it the Olympics fault or is it Shelly and Fraser's fault? And in the, in the case where Sharika Jackson is concerned, is it Jamaica's fault? Is it Sharika's fault? Is it the Olympics fault? Or is this just the natural course of things just going, just fa um, falling into place? I'd like to hear from you guys. Rewrite the narrative, like, share, and subscribe.